All right, ladies and gentlemen of the internet, it's finally time to continue building the castle. And in today's episode, I want to show you guys how to build this part right here, which is supposed to be the throne room and just in general part of the keep. So we're going to hop back into the super flat world. And in this episode, we're going to get this section finished. And that was my face. So I will see you guys right over in that world. All right, here we are. In the first episode, we built the entire gatehouse, and in the second one, we built this tower and a lot of the walls. And so how we're gonna start this video is we're gonna continue on building the wall here, the one that connects up diagonally all the way over to where we're gonna build the throne room back here. And so to do this, we're gonna come right here to this corner of the tower, the same one that has the mini tower sticking out of it right there, and we're gonna go one, two, and on the third block, we're gonna bring this up seven blocks. Now we're gonna do the same thing we did over here when we built the diagonal part of the wall except we're going to start with a section that's three wide so bring this out two more blocks and we're going to bring these up the full seven as well over here now that we have our three by seven block wide wall like this we're going to come over on a diagonal and we're going to do this for 16 blocks one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen i feel like a ballet instructor or something but now that we got our 16 blocks just like that, we're gonna go to our wall here. We're gonna go one, two, three. And on the fourth block, so that we've got a three block space, we're also gonna bring this up seven blocks. But from here, we only do the one instead of three. And we gotta start going diagonally like this, just so that we got two blocks of space diagonally in between like this. And we're gonna continue on going. In fact, we're gonna do exactly what we did over here. As you guys know, we're gonna put a giant tower right here so we can kind of just cut off the wall. We can do the same thing over here since we're gonna have the build facing this way we can just match this up with that the next step is just gonna be bringing all these blocks up to seven once we've got our diagonal wall like this with the three there over at the end you can actually start filling this in with whatever you want to use as the floor for now since we're not doing the interior decoration we can just fill this in with andesite but if you want to save some materials you don't even have to fill this in yet and I mean if you're doing this in survival definitely make sure to light this up down here I don't really care about it right now since I'm in peaceful mode but I went around and torched the place up a lot and survival mode. We're now going to focus more on the details and we only really have to do it here on the outside since the inside is going to have the staircase going up. So let's get some blocks. First off, we're just going to add these decorations like this, which are just stone brick, polished andesite, stone brick, and then a polished andesite stair. And then what we want to do is add these pillars first without the stairs on every other block, just like this. And once we got this, we can start over at the beginning and we're just going to alternate these stairs back and forth like so. Now, to start decorating this, we want to place stone brick blocks like this every other block, but this is pretty much the exact same process as over there on that side. So I'm going to go over what we're going to do for these three blocks, and then the rest is just going to be the same as over here. One thing we will do on the other side is make sure that these stone bricks are on the same side, though. So if this one's over here, make sure you go diagonally and place it in the right spot and then alternate every other one, because otherwise, like I said before, with that wall over there, it's going to get very wonky if you do this wrong. You then want to go ahead and place andesite stairs underneath like this. You want to place your smooth stone slab like so, and then your chiseled stone bricks with a polished andesite slab. A lot of different blocks right here. And this you can do pretty much all the way down the line. Just make sure you place your chisel blocks and all of these blocks right here. And it's a little bit annoying to place these uh, regular polished andesite slabs. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. You have to put a temporary block down like this and then place your block down, but you can get it done eventually. As for the bottoms here, we've got these two stairs like this, and we just want to alternate these just the same way we did down here. So every other one facing one way and then facing the other. Okay, now this part is where it gets a little bit weird. We're still going to place our two stone bricks like this on every single one of these. You might as well get those down right away. We then want to place regular andesite on the top of each of these pillars and some of this smooth stone in between on the top portion of the slab. All right, now before we start building the trim, we can, of course, line this up with our terracotta. Just place it on the top of each one of these blocks, and I'll be right back. In fact, these parts on the end right here, you can just pull them all the way in towards the wall and now we have to start making the trim so I would start off right here underneath this tower with a stair like this and we're gonna alternate every other one just like so and for the diagonal part right here we're just gonna go with slabs and line it all the way on both sides 
In fact, over here on the inside, on the courtyard side, you will end up with one block like this. You can just place a stair there, just like on the other side. Now for this part, to make things work, well, we're gonna have to do something a little bit fancy right here. And the first three blocks right close to this wall, we're gonna add another layer just like this. And we're gonna do it for this block here as well. In fact, just to make all this work, we're gonna bring this back so that it matches the other side there. And now we can start to pull this up and build ourselves an A-frame. These parts we can bring into the wall. In fact, we can break this down right here so that they match up. And now we can just start bringing this up towards the middle so that they meet like this. And you'll notice that we have the two block gap right here, but since we have the stairs, it doesn't really look that strange. And the strangest it'll look is from the other side here, but it's gonna match up really well with the diagonals. So it's probably not gonna matter. Then what you wanna do is obviously you're gonna put your temporary blocks here and place your terracotta on top. And we're gonna do this just the same way we did in the last video. So bring that up if you need to know how to place the blocks, but I'll be back when we've placed this diagonal section. Now in the end, you should have something looking like this. And what I've done is I've just doubled up slabs here and then doubled up every other slab as we go along. Not like that though, just like this. Just the same way we did over there. And once we're done with this, we can move on to actually building the throne room over here. I will say though that before we move on, we wanna add a slab underneath here on every other block just to add a little bit of depth to this place it makes this row not look quite as bad so to start building the throne room here we want to be on the outside of the castle and we want to go to the end of this diagonal and right next to this right here we want to start building up a pillar that's 19 blocks tall you then want to go ahead and replace the bottom block with a polished andesite block and we want to do this to every other one all the way up this pillar we're then gonna measure out the width of this thing. So skip one block, then we're gonna place a stone brick block. Then we're gonna space out three, place a stone brick, three stone brick, and then skip one again and placed our polished andesite. We once again wanna bring this corner up with every other block like this, 19 blocks just like that one. What we then wanna do is go to this block right here that's next to this pillar, and we just wanna bring andesite all the way over to the other side. And we're also gonna place one of these polished andesite bricks right above where we have these stone bricks downstairs. So something like that. At. We're then mostly going to use this part for decoration, so you can pull these all the way up, and on each of them, we're going to place stairs on either side like this, just to round them off a little bit. All right, so you should have something looking like this, and what we're going to do is we're going to move in one block, so we're not going to fill this in right here. We're going to move one block backwards right here, and we're going to fill in a wall that covers all of this. So this wall is going to come up all the way up to where these arches are right here. Make sure you don't go all the way out to the edge here either. Next, we're gonna come up to where we have these stone brick pillars and we're gonna make another stone brick pillar on either side here and we're gonna bring it up nine blocks. So nine blocks is just one block shorter than the edges here, so you wanna bring it up to here and we're gonna build a window here in the middle so you don't have to do a pillar there. We are, however, gonna add some decoration, so just add a few slabs right here and in between them, you can just go andesite stairs. Okay, so to round this off, we now wanna place a andesite block right there and then we're gonna start creating a diagonal here of andesite until we meet in the middle between these two. So we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, place that block right there and start diagonaling our way up so that they meet right in the middle like so. Then you can go ahead and line it with some smooth stone slabs like that and we've got our window. So we can now go ahead and bring this wall, continue bringing it up all the way. We'll just carve our window out of it and we can bring this window all the way up just so that we cover the slabs. Okay, so the backside should look something like this and the front of your building should look like this. And before we carve out the window, I think we should mirror this on the other side because we're not gonna have a big window on that side. So all we need to do now is space it right. Okay, now this looks really complicated, but it's really just to show where we're gonna place some blocks in the future. So if you wanna line this out with wool or just with stone, it doesn't really matter. You just need to know how far away we gotta be right here. And so you might as well get this down. I replaced these two with the blocks just so it wouldn't get confusing if they were stone. So what you wanna do is you wanna start with this corner as your yellow, then you want four blocks of the red, then diagonally down from it, we've got a yellow, and then we got one, two, three red, and then one red to the right. You can also include your yellows over here if you want to, but we then have two yellow down like this but one yellow one two three red yellow then we got two reds like this the reds come up basically if you need to take a screenshot of this right now and see how to build it go right ahead okay so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do exactly what we did over on this side and we're gonna make this a 19 tall pillar 
what you can do now is either just rewind the video a little bit so that you can see exactly how to build this or just look at your build and copy it over to this side. We're just going to do exactly what we did over there, you know, space it out. And so I'll be right back as soon as we have an exact copy on that side over here and we can start working on this side. Okay, there we go. Now I've finished both sides. So we got them looking like this. And on this side, we can go ahead and add the details. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to knock out these five blocks and replace them with stone bricks. We then want to come up to this block right here, replace it, these three with stone bricks and the same one over here. And then we can knock everything out in between here. On the sides, you can bring up some stone brick wall pillars just like this. Then we're going to go ahead and round off the top of this window a little bit by placing some slabs and another stone brick wall pillar right in the center all the way down. Okay, what you want to do right now is you're definitely going to want to wall off your window just like this, just so that the glass panes connect here towards the end. And then you want to just start alternating these glass panes all the way down. Okay, something just like that, and our window is actually complete. That's actually it for this side. There are a few more details we're going to want to add for the roof here later on, but we'll handle that when we start actually building the roof. I mean, we got two more walls to build. All right, ladies and gents, since that last clip, I've actually been sick and my voice has been absolutely horrendous, but let's continue on this tutorial. It's been a while. I'm really sorry about that. Anyway, the next step here is we're going to go to where we have this beam and we're going to go to the same block and we're going to bring this across all the way just like this. You're then going to want to grab yourself some smooth basalt and place one here, right there, right there, right there, here, and here. But then we're just going to bring this up all the way onto this andesite right here and we're gonna bring the other basalt pillars up to the same height. Now that our vertical pillars are in place, we're gonna wanna place a few pillars just like this, and we want this to come out three blocks, and then on the fourth block, we're gonna place a chiseled stone brick just like so. Do this on both sides. We can then come to these corners right here and bring in two of these polished basalt, and we wanna bring out the chiseled stone bricks one block outside of this pillar right here, and then connect them up with some basalt. We can then go ahead and just place some stone brick stairs upside down like this underneath them, and we can start building the walls. So first off, we can go to these yellow spots right here, and what you wanna do is just place three basalt like this and some stone bricks into them, and you wanna do this on every single one of these. We then want to grab some andesite and we're going to actually connect these red spots up all the way up, except for this one in the middle here. Here you're going to go three blocks up and then we're going to move in a block just like so. And now we can move this up all the way. In fact, once you get up here, you can actually just fill all this in with andesite since it's going to be the floor. Once that's filled in, we can go down here and these red spots that are remaining, except for this middle one right here, right? We can just bring up all the way as far as we can all the way into the roof here. Alrighty, the final detail over here is going to be to add some of these stairs to make some arches. And for this one, you only need to add these stone brick stairs on the inside like so. We're going to add some in the middle, of course. We can then also go ahead and add a little window down here by just knocking out some of this andesite, putting in some of these stone brick stairs and some nether brick fences. And that should be looking pretty good. Let's move on to the balcony up here. All right, so for the balcony, to start us off on this wall, we're just going to go to these chiseled stone brick blocks and we're going to bring up four blocks blocks of these pillars and just put another chisel block on top. We're also going to make sure we do the same all the way over here on these andesite blocks. Just go one, two, three, four and add our chiseled stone bricks and do it on both sides. We can then start connecting these chiseled blocks up right here on these ones. We're just going to go to connect these ones in the middle and we should be totally good. We're then going to want to do the same thing we did down here and create some arches using our stone brick stairs just to even things out, make them look a little bit rounder, nicer. And then here towards the bottom, we're going to use these anvils as a railing for the balcony. Now we are going to want to put in a floor up here for a second balcony, but to do this, we are going to want to use slabs instead of full blocks just so we optimize the space up here. Once we've got that filled in, we need to place another one of these polished basalt pillars up on top of each of these chisel blocks. And then except for these ones in the back, we're going to place some smooth stone slabs on top of these pillars and connect everything up with an anvil. Okay, now before we start working on the roof and the entrance out to the balcony here, we're going to want to build up these walls here and the entrance out to this bottom balcony. And so the first thing we're going to do is going to grab our stone brick stairs once again, place them like this. And we're also going to place some upside down stairs up right above where this chiseled block is, just like so. We're then going to come up with our andesite and build a layer just like so and make sure that we build a two by four frame just like this. It's going to be super easy because it's going to sit right in between these stairs. 
Then we're gonna grab our glass panes and do the same thing we did over here and alternate every other one with some white and some light gray glass panes. Okay, once we got that on both sides, it's time to worry about this wall right here. So the first thing I would do is go two blocks away from this pillar and build another pillar up here and take out that block right there, do the same thing on the other side. Once we've got that done, we can connect these up with some slabs, and after that, we can actually connect a little border like this using slabs going all the way around. Once we've got this, we're going to place some more of our stairs right here, just like so. And then we're going to grab ourselves some oak trap doors and doors. And then we can go ahead and add our trap doors just like this. We're also going to do the same right here in the middle, except we're going to take out these bottom blocks right here and put a door there instead. Then we can just go ahead and place ourselves a lantern right there and in these corners, and it should be well enough lit up to not spawn any mobs. Okie dokie, let's move on to the roof up here, and the first thing we're going to want to do is grab some polished andesite stairs and place one upside down right above this one and then grab our chiseled stone bricks and alternate the two until we get to this one over here. Then we're just going to place an andesite block on top of this thing over here and grab some of our smooth stone slabs and do that and you can copy this onto the other side just the same way. All right, now we're going to do something different in the middle here, but we can move on to the other side and do the exact same thing with these blocks except this time we can do it all the way across. So you can go to this block right here, the bottom of this pyramid shape, place yourself your andesite stair, and then just go all the way across, alternating these blocks. Then you're going to do the same thing, and you're going to place your smooth stone slabs on top of each of the andesite stairs. But on this side, we're going to do something more interesting, and we're also going to place some of these walls right underneath here. And I wouldn't worry about the rest of this wall. In fact, we're going to get to that in the next part when we start building the staircase and the rest of the towers. So for now, you can just let this wall be this way, and we're going to start building the roof, starting over here with the entrance to the balcony. So with the entrance to the balcony, you're going to come out over here and you're going to place four more blocks of andesite just like this. And then you can grab yourself an anvil and place them in the missing spots right there. We're then going to get out some more andesite and start building ourselves a diagonal like so, which meets up in the middle, which is going to be one more block and do that on both sides, of course. Once we got something looking like this, you're going to go one space away from the edge here and connect this up with some stone bricks. Then you're going to grab your smooth stone slabs and place them on the bottom of these blocks, and we're going to move back and fill in some andesite on the block behind right here. So once you've filled this in like this, we can break out a little 3x3 three three square just like this. And this is where we're going to build the entrance, so place yourself some stone bricks like this, stone brick slab, and some brick walls. Once we've got our entrance here, we can go to the other side and place some of our spruce trap doors in a 3x3 three three pattern like this, and then break out the ones in the middle here so that we can place a door. The final detail is going to be adding a chiseled stone brick right there for some detail. And at this point, we can actually start working on the roof. Okay, so to start out with the roof, we're going to grab some prismarine bricks, and we're going to place them on top of each of these these blocks just like this all the way down to the edge and in fact we're going to come over here and do the same thing on these sides as well. Once we've got the prismarine blocks in here you're going to want to skip the first block right here and then jump up one, place yourself a stone brick wall, warp fence with an iron bar and we're going to do this every other block. So in the end you should have something looking like this. We're then going to come over to the sides and we're going to do the exact same thing and place five like this, one up top, skip a block, go down, skip a block, go down, do the same thing over on this side. All right, I would say that that's looking pretty spiffy, and now we can start placing our terracotta, and the first layer is going to go right behind where these slabs are, so just right here. What we're then going to do is just move up every other block so you can start, you know, underneath these prismarine blocks all the way up on this side. And we're just going to fill all this in with terracotta. Now that we got that filled in, we can move on to the other side where it gets ever so slightly more tricky. And the only real difference here is that we're going to bring this back all the way like this. Then once we get to this slab, we're going to go into the corner on this one. And once we get there, we can basically just do the same thing on the next layer, moving one back. And so you get a shape looking kind of like this with a diagonal going up like that and it's not very difficult to fill in towards the top okay now once you got the roof filled in you can bring your brick slabs and place every other one on top like this in this pattern do the same thing down here and you're pretty much done with the roof at this point now what you can do is texture in some of these bricks the way we've done over here on this roof and these roofs which i am going to do later on 
But for now, we need to add one final detail. And this detail is gonna be a few more of these side towers like this. In fact, we're gonna place one on every corner of this building. So let me show you exactly how to do that. So first off, we're gonna find this pillar once again right here that's going horizontally and get towards the end. And we're gonna go ahead and place a stone brick wall here and bring it out one block so it's going diagonally from this one. Then we're gonna place another stone brick wall on top of it and two andesites like this. Then we're gonna place a temporary block Block and surround that temporary block with some stairs like so upside down. We're then going to bring this up another block and place some slabs just like so. And after we add another layer of andesite just like this, we're going to go ahead and place some polished andesite stairs facing this direction. After that, we're going to bring the rest of these up four blocks so that they're in line with this block right up here. And once we got this, we can place another upside down stair just like so and finish up with our nether brick fences. It's now time to build the roof on this thing. So we're gonna grab our prismarine stairs, place them upside down in a ring all the way around this thing, just like so, if I can get the precision right. And we're then gonna go ahead and place a warped trapdoor in between them, just like this, and some prismarine brick slabs in the corners. We can then go ahead and place some prismarine brick stairs on top of these warp trap doors and then finally finish up with a ring of terracotta in between all this. We're then going to place a few more of these terracotta blocks in a plus sign like this and add some brick walls in the corners. We're going to place jungle fences with iron bars on top of all of these and then add some more brick stairs just like so and bring up the terracotta one block above that. Then we're going to add our brick wall and two jungle fences, one iron bar, and a flower pot on top. Okay, I'd say that's looking pretty fancy, and we need to now add these in each of the corners at the same height right there. The only place it's actually going to be a bit tricky is right over here. But if you've been following along, as you can see, we've got these walls right here that match up with these ones. So all you got to do is grab yourself some andesite and replace this block. You can also go ahead and add another prismarine right there if you want, just to make it more fluid. We're then going to place our temporary block where our brick stairs are then going to go. And at this point, you can just start building your tower the same way you would otherwise. All right, so I'm going to build up all the towers here in the corners and see you guys as soon as that's done so that we can start building the flags on top of these. All right, now we got our four little side towers in and it's looking really awesome if I do say so myself. The last thing we need to add is, of course, a few flags. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to go to our top two fences right here, place a red wool and a yellow terracotta underneath it. You can pick whatever two colors you've used. Then we're going to go ahead and back up in this direction with a red wool and place some yellow terracotta underneath that one, just like this. Then we're gonna come forward with the red wool once again and up one so that our flag looks like this in the end. Now, the way I would do it for the other flags to make them not look the same is to just do kind of the opposite. So instead of bringing that back one block, we're gonna bring it one forward here instead. So you can see how I've used the exact same design for both of these flags, except they're just sort of opposite. And I do the same thing. So make the opposite of this flag, the one you built over here, over there on that one, and this flag over here. And once you've done all that, you should have a building looking like this, which is pretty awesome if I do say so myself. You could have a throne room in here. We are, of course, gonna have to build this side of the building and this side over here, but we're going to have some other stuff connecting into it, so you don't have to worry about that until the next episode, which shouldn't be as long as this one was just because I got sick. Once again, I'm really sorry that this video took such a long time to get out, but I am healthy now and I should be back on track to be able to make these videos a lot more frequently. So as always, if you watch this video all the way to the end, then you're the champ and I appreciate your existence. And until we see each other next time, have a good one.